morning. Welcome to Working Horses with Jim. I'm Brenda, Jim's wife. If you're new to the channel, um, and I just wanted to take you along with us today. We have an exciting day because we have new additions. No, it's not horses. It's piglets, but I still think it's going to be exciting. Um, the piglets are housed on the other side of the horse barn. So we're going to see this morning how the horses react to having the pigs come on through. They've, they've been there before and um, we've had them before and housed them there before and um, the, the pigs are not really welcomed by the horses but um, it's always kind of fun to watch and it's always nice to get new uh, additions to your farm. So welcome today and hope you can enjoy this incredibly lovely fall morning with us. There is dew everywhere and but it's a it's a very clear gorgeous day. So come on along with us. I had to laugh. I was just on the other side of this wall where Lady is and I was getting the pen ready for the pigs and didn't Lady start snorting. I think she remembers the pigs being there and she doesn't really love having them there. Lady's a the kind of horse that just doesn't forget things. And uh, so that made me chuckle. Some loose hay for the pen. Hi everybody, so um, this is Will. This is a, a friend of ours, been a friend for years. Uh, he actually used to work for us years ago, what, 15 years ago now? 15 years ago. And so um, he actually helped we, me do a little logging back when I had my little Rocky horse. He's talked about little Rocky horse for years now. And he didn't have a lot of interest in the horses at the time. But since then, he has taken in a, a great uh, deal of interest in horses. He had a pair of Halflinger ponies for quite a while. And now he's got a, a full-size horse he wants to do a little logging with. But then he messed up his shoulder, so he's out of work for a little bit. So hopefully you'll get better and get back to it's work. It's gaining every day. Good, good. What kind of horse do you have now, Will? I have a little perch on there. Awesome. So he actually brought, bought our truck several months ago, and he said the old girl knew how to come right back. He hardly had to steer it. So he brought our pigs for us. We're buying the pigs from him. So we've got three pigs in there that are ours, and then these two pigs here are our neighbors that we pulled out of the pen. So, um, I think probably we could pull them out of the pen when we get there. Um, Brenda, Brenda wanted these particular pigs. Um, we saw them when, picture when they're born and, and she wanted these particular ones. So, uh, why don't we just take, why don't I just take one or two and I'll just carry them right in. Okay. And then, um, Well, if you can take two, I can take one. Yeah, yeah. Not sure how Lady is going to react to this. She already was ex um, a little bit, she hears them, and I can see that already. She, when we were getting the pen ready, which is beyond her in this room, she did not like it. Pigs do not get along with horses that well. Okay. 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 <laughs> Welcome to your new home. They're going to so be kind of pigs are those? crowded in here with three. Yeah, yeah. half Durox and half Hampshire. Last year we had a couple pigs in here, and, and uh, Lady was not very keen with about them. She did not like them at all. But she's sort of get used to them. They'll be happy because they're all together. I'm going to have to give them something to play with so they can get some exercise. Old ball. Yep. Okay. Perfect. Now we just can pay you. That's the hard part. Somebody is just still not very happy in here. I just missed it. She was pawing and she's just not, not too thrilled about this whole situation. Lady, it seems like you would get used to this. We've had pigs lots of times. Hi, little ones. 
I didn't get a chance to ask you guys what you thought of the pigs. What did you guys think? They'll be fine. She was the same way last year when we brought pigs in, so it just takes a little get used to her. And now we want to take you to later in the evening. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening. So we're over here tonight, and we're going to make applesauce. <clears throat> um, yeah, yeah, and um, I'm not a big fan of working at night like this, starting a project at night, but it's what works best for everybody because they, these girls have jobs during the day. Okay, so mom, basically how do you make apple sauce? Go. Um, well, basically we wash the apples, we cut them up. Um, I use this thing to cut them up because um, they go, go so much faster. Do you use the corn and everything? No, no I don't. Corn. I mean, some people might, but I don't. And I just put a little water in the bottom of the pan. Bad stuff. And so you cut up apples. Cut up apples. Cook them in a pan. You can cut them water. up and leave the skins right on them. I just throw them in there. And then I cook them on the stove until they're, now this is a different variety of apples, so it's not really, until they're soft. Smushy? Yeah, very smushy, soft. So and the then the apples. Yep. And, and then <laughs> they just go into this processor right here. You turn the crank. Crank it good. There probably needs more in there. This is called a Victorio Squeezo, I think is what they call it. And um, I've had it for years. It works really good. I don't like cleaning it afterwards, but it does make applesauce in short order. Now, this is just one kind of apple in here, but I have another one I'm gonna cook too, and it's like makes more red applesauce. But, and I mix them together. It just and happened to be which bag I of apples I found first, because they're starting to get go by, and so I needed to get those done first. And so, Trudy, what would you say the best part about making applesauce is? Eating it. Eating it. Fresh and warm. Yeah, we'll have an apple eating, sauce eating time later. Absolutely. Dangerous. I know it looks dangerous, but, you know, sometimes dangerous things have to be done. For the good of applesauce. <laughs> it's not dangerous at all. This part is sharp. Are you kidding me? Andre, oh, you are wild. I know. I know. Well, got another bucket of apples to go here. I like how Abby just like films everything and we're actually doing all the work. Oh, Abigail. Well, I don't want to do what she's doing, so there you go. Oh, me neither. Is this you know really funny? Apples there? No, I'm sorry, but I don't. Oh, it's okay. The tree was gifted Apology to us. Accepted. And uh, Who was it gifted to us? Oh, yeah, tell us. us. Tell us well, the story. We, when we moved here from Vermont, mm -hmm. um, a man that we know gave us a gift certificate to St. Lawrence Nurseries, Ooh. I believe is how it went, and um, for three trees, one of them didn't make it, but... No, four, because we have the one in the back, too. But one, we had three in the front. And that was the nicest gift. Yeah, really? Yeah, it was really so nice. nice. A very nice His gift. His name was Peter, and it was just so very nice of him. It was so thoughtful. The and gift nice that gift. just keeps on It keeps on giving. 30 away. years later. Someday I'm wow. going to give him a pie, too. Thank you, Peter. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Excellent. Some sweet, juicy ribs. <laughs> Sorry. Sound 
sounds are nice too. Love those noises. Mm. Sights and sounds. <laughs> Sights and sounds of applesauce making. Mm, that's good stuff. It's also about a million degrees in here. Oh yeah. Mm. <laughs> Let's watch the, the, the excrement come out. <laughs> I feel like if you want to like have a nice soothing thing to listen to as you fall asleep, you know, you want to... <laughs> I missed that. It was something important. Oh, uh, well, this is kind of thin so far. I'm not very happy with that. It was th syrup. But she put some syrup uh, in it for sweetener. Well, a lot of people don't put any sweetener in, but... Oh, well, they're, like, way okay, more well, healthy than we are. At least it's syrup. And so now we're putting I it into cans. I know that those are jars. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we're canning them, though. Yeah. Don't you know that you can jars? Okay, so we're about one hour into the process. We've come to the point where basically Trudy's eating applesauce. I'm not, we're not doing much. And mom's <laughs> taking, taking the brunt of the work. Classic. Welcome to motherhood. Uh, of apples is on and we got the first canner going. I plan on getting another one going soon. They've got to be in a hot water bath for 15 minutes. Which is a lot better than tomato stuff. So, they don't take that long. Okay, so we are finishing up. Pretty doing the dishes. Yay! Nice. Cleaning. We made 14 quarts. 14 quarts. Oh, there's some in here, so. 14 quarts of applesauce, can't wait. Don't forget that we have our calendars for sale on our website. Supplies are limited, so order yours today. And yeah. we'll regret it. And you'll be able to keep track of every day. We hope you won't regret it. Every day, <laughs> We hope that you enjoyed this video, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.